Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, we are going to be talking about uh, Get to Know Us video. <laughs> this is a Get to Know Us, I guess this is a thing. Yeah, it is a thing. I see other people do it and I want us to do it so you guys can get to know us better. So as a couple, it's kind of like Get to Know Us as a couple. It's Get to Know Us as a couple. Because you already know me pretty well. Emily, you know pretty well. But together now you're going to know us together well. And hear our story. Yep. So you're gonna read some questions. I'm gonna read some you. questions. If I feel like I have enough um, energy, I will type them in so you can kind of read them as well. But for right now, I'm just gonna read them and we're gonna answer them. I know some of them. Alex doesn't know any of them. Um, but just kind of information about each other. First question: How did we meet? And I'll hand it over to you. But I will say that it must have been about. Why don't you tell the story? I'm sick of hearing my own story. I want you to tell it, but. It must have been about seven years ago. I feel like it's been seven years for the last five years, kind of. I think seven years ago is fair. But s around seven years ago, we first met. So what happened was, so I was invited to a wedding, uh, and I didn't really want to go because I'm a hermit, and then I was dragged there by my friend, and then we were at the wedding, I didn't know anybody except for this one friend of mine, and then uh, this other dude came up to us with this really beautiful girl. And he said, hey, uh, we don't know anybody here. you mind if we hang out with you guys? Because you're like our age. Mm-hmm. And I said, absolutely. Because I have my eyes on you. And then we sat at the table together, and mm -hmm. I was flirting with you the whole time. And then I found out that guy you were with was not your boyfriend, so then I really turned it up to an 11. <laughs> yeah. And at that time, I had uh, an iPhone at the time, which is pretty slick, and I'm sure you were really impressed. I was so impressed. You could get Facebook on the phone right away, and I was really impressed by that. So I could Facebook her, so I Facebooked yeah. her right there, and we were Facebook friends for mm -hmm. about a year. No. We, well, it was no. in November, and then our first day was in February. So we were Facebook friends for like three months. It was in September. Oh, was it? The wedding was in September, Okay. Sure. So we were friends on Facebook for a while, and we had our first date on Valentine's Day, uh, that next Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And then we really hit it off then. And then we started kind of dating more regularly. Mm -hmm. He really pursued me hard. He was sending me stuff in the mail. He really turned down the charm. I'm not trying to get friend zone here. You know? Right. Oh, he made sure I didn't get a friend zone. But like at the wedding, I went with someone I didn't even know the bride and groom. I just kind of ended up going to this wedding and he happened to be there. And he found out that I wasn't with the guy that I went, so he switched the name tags around, so I sat right next to him, and honestly, like, I Alex, forgot about that even. Yeah, Alex turning it up to 11 was just him asking me, like, what fruit I liked all night. I mean, I only asked the question once. I mean, no, I mean, it was just, like, fruit after fruit after fruit. You kept naming strawberries, and I'd be like, no. And you're like, watermelon, and I would be like, yes, this went on for a while. So that was Alex's game. I mean, it worked. Was <laughs> it worked. Did, it did. You made you laugh, but I got, I got the prize. You did. So. So that was how we met. The next question would be first impressions of each other. Your first I, I, impression. I, I of was me. in love with you the second I saw you. That's so sweet, honey. That's so nice. I was not in love with him the second I saw him, but he really grew on me. He was. You were really funny. I remember you were with your friend Patrick, and you kept doing this thing. You remember we were doing this on the thing, and you kept trying to get me to do it. Yeah, you, know, you, you know the the game. The game is if you don't know what the game is, it's you you do one of these or one of these uh, uh, below your waist. And then if someone looks at it, you get to punch him in the arm. Yes. Yeah, so but if they don't look at it and poke their finger through it, then they get to punch you in the arm twice. So. And I would say my first impression is still true for today. He seemed very opinionated, very passionate, and kind of loud. And that is how he is to this day. So I would say that was true. What are you doing over there, honey? The chair's... Okay. The chair was kind of stuck. All right. We're good. We're good. Next question. How long did we date for? A while. Many years. Oh, a long time. Five years. Five years. Yeah. And then I kind of like laid it down like we're going to have to get married here. Yeah, you know who I blame? I think marriage is pretty dumb. I'll say it. I think it's stupid. We're married and I'm happy. I'm happily married. But I don't feel any different for being married, except for we had to go through the stress of getting married, which is a fu it's a huge pain in the ass. It was very stressful. I feel different being married, though. I do. I feel you? a little more serious. I don't. About it. I don't feel different. I feel the same. Uh, and it's the Bachelor, the show, The Bachelor. It's the Bachelor's fault that not only that, you know, I was pressured into getting married, but everybody in America is. 
I would say it's they're pushing this the is pushing this thing. bullshit agenda, and you know that De Beers and shit are paying that show off. Like, oh, please make what yeah. marriage look really fun, so everybody buys diamond rings. Fuck all that. Okay. But I'm happily married, and I <laughs> love Emily very much. So it was all for the best. But I would have loved her very much if we weren't married. We would right. still be the, our life would be the same. I'd be like, okay, I needed it. Well, to she needed it. She can have it. But thank you very much. I, I think it's kind of dumb. Next question. What is the most annoying thing about your partner? Oh, my God. That's a landmine. <laughs> what the hell? Well, you're just really messy. You're really messy, and you just don't, like, care about a lot of stuff that you should care about, I feel like. Like, this mess that I make? Yeah. I shouldn't. I should care about it more. Like, when you damage something or make a mess, and you just, like, don't care <laughs> at all. Like, whether you don't clean it up or just pretend it didn't happen, and you don't tell me about it, that's, like, really... Kind of childish. I don't like it. Sometimes I don't do anything, but I will tell them about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the most annoying thing about you, I'm trying to think. I would just say maybe when you're really hyped up and I'm not in that zone and you're so hyped up, it's like a little much. <laughs> I'm sure your fans can relate. They're always hyped up and I'm hyped up. <laughs> Meeting the family is the next kind of topic, but that happened very early for us. When did you meet the family? Well, I, I, meant, I, know, I mean, I meant, you said hi to my I parents. I met his parents the first day, walking I mean, in. It was, like, not really a meeting. Like, they were li- literally leaving, and then you were coming in, and, like, they said hello, and then they left. It wasn't, like, a meeting. But I would, I would say that counts as meeting well, the family. Well, then it wasn't a bad one. No, it just got worse after that. Yeah. Um, and then I was living with my mom at the time. So when he first came over, he met my mom pretty early on. Yeah. And he was always bringing these really tasty salads from the restaurant he worked at, so... And then, like, my mom would get the extras of the pizza or the salad, so she liked you. <laughs> and he sent me, like, you things to the house, so my mom liked him right away, I think. Okay, any weird habits that you have or I have? Weird habits. Weird habits that you have? Yeah. That I see? Yeah. I'm trying to think if you have any. Oof, man, I mean... You are obsessed with magazines, and that's a big problem for me. I feel like I'm suffocating in magazines everywhere. I really like magazines. And she won't throw them away. Like, she'll read these gossip rags, like Cosmos, and, like, just have them laying around everywhere. And she won't throw them away. I have a short memory, so if I read them again, it's like I'm reading them for the first time. Yeah, but even then, like, we have, like, hundreds of magazines in here. You don't need that many. Um, weird habits. I'm not really thinking too many of yours, but he does it as weird throat clearing things sometimes. Oh, yeah. Look at this. It's when you get this itch, like, that feels like it's behind your ear, and you can't get it any other way. That's the only way to do it. you got to make that weird sound, because it vibrates your head in a way that itches it. That's the problem. Oh, also, he won't blow his nose when he should. He just sniffs and sniffs and sniffs. I don't like blowing my nose. It feels bad. And I'm just like how I am with Ax students, and I'm like, it sounds like you need a Kleenex. He's like, no. So <laughs> that's also another nice little habit. This question I won't even touch on, but yours is kind of an exotic story. So the next question is, where are you from? I'm from Minnesota, still in Minnesota. I was born in Kiev, Ukraine, and moved here. My parents moved me here in 1988 uh, or 89. I can't remember. But then I was uh, about six years old when I was first moved to America. And then I went to like the school, like English is a second language kind of school. So I learned how to speak English there. But, you know, kids learn, learn that stuff fast anyway. Yeah. And then that's, I mean, that's my story, I guess. So say something in Russian to your to your fan base here. To my fans? Yeah. I, I, I'll tell you what, okay, here's what I, there's two things I, I'll say because it's funny. I taught my friend Steve in high school how to say, here's what he says. Ya gavaru poruski, eta pochimu, sesima yupenko. And that in broken Russian means, I speak Russian, that's why you should suck my dick. Okay. <laughs> Did you use that a lot in high school? No, he asked me specifically for that phrase. <laughs> and th- that's actually not even the right way to say it, but it's like simple enough. And then, uh, I forgot what Mitch says, but it's something with cockroach in it. The word for cockroach is tarakan. Tarakan. Cockroach, cockroach in Russian. So there you go. So I tried to learn a little bit of phrases once in a while. Yeah, why don't you do your little thing in Russian? I know, I had a big monologue and I forgot it. Um, Privet minyaza but Emily... Um, yeah, to be yeah, blue, blue, that's where I'm going to leave it because I kind of forgot it. We're going to have to review it. Um, this is just like weird, but like 
it asks, what food don't I like or what food don't you like? You don't like a lot of food, like mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms. And tofu. And I wouldn't say I don't like tofu. Beans that are not black. I don't like And beans. berries, blueberries, or raisins. We're periscoping for the first time while we're doing this, and finally we're kind of looking alive here, so I was like looking at it, and we did not say honey boo boo. <laughs> um, I don't like a lot of food, I guess. Alex isn't like eggplant. I don't like eggplant. And he doesn't like animal food. Food from animals. Well, yeah, I am vegan, so I don't like any animal food products. And eggplant. And I don't like eggplant. And I don't like, uh, I like everything else. We're trying to really convert him to eating wheat bread and wheat noodles, so please leave comments about how much the white stuff is bad for you because he really likes to eat the white pasta and the white bread. Okay, who wears the pants in a relationship? I'm wearing pants right now. Uh, so am I. I think that I would wear the pants. I think you would like to think you wear the pants. I do like to think that. I feel like I make a lot of our life choices. You do. Emily makes a lot of our life decisions, that's for sure. And they're all good. I always make good life decisions, I would say. But I pay all of the bills. I manage our finances. But you do decide in a lot of life decisions. Like, we never would have had a dog if it wasn't right. for you. We never would have had a cat. We wouldn't have and gotten married. We wouldn't have gotten married, yeah. So, I mean, we're definitely kind of share the pants, I think. Mm-hmm. I think so, we too. We both have important things that we do in life. And uh, we are puzzle pieces that fit really nicely together, I think. That's sweet. <laughs> Um, any weird obsessions that you have or that I have? Tons. <laughs> we are kind of obsessive. You are obsessed with skincare, makeup, mm -hmm. magazine collecting, uh, getting, like, saving money, getting deals. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know what else you're obsessed with, but I feel like there's a lot of things. Alex has recently been obsessed with board games. That's been a big I one. I got into board games. I've been obsessed with video games for a long time. I guess I'm not that bad. I get obsessed in things, like my hobbies. So when I get a hobby yeah. that's new, I really like go deep into that hobby. Like I get really aggressive about it. But that changes like when I change hobbies. Um, What pisses me off? And what pisses you off? It pisses Alex off when I leave messes and don't clean them up because I'm not being a team player. If I'm not being a team player, that pisses Alex off. <laughs> what pisses you off? Yeah, not really. Nice. And why doesn't get pissed off? I get pissed off when Alex tries to do the laundry. Well, no, or when he says, can we do the laundry? And that means, can I do the laundry? I don't like when you say we and you mean me. That's called, can, a, that's called a royal we. Can we do the dishes? What it means. Can you do the dishes? Uh, we share the dishes. Right. But when you say it, it is directed at me. So that kind of pisses me off. Well, if I don't say anything, I just start doing it. You don't just let me do it. Right. <laughs> well, I gotta say something. Um, that's pretty much it. The only other question I had is what TV shows we watch. The Office over and over again. We're on just the office fifth, on loop. Our fifth time watching the office. I want to just watch the and office. It gets better and better every time. It it's, really the does. it's the best show. Just watch the office, and when you run out, you just start it again. We started House of Lies. We like that. Oh, we're done with it. House of Lies. No, we just started oh it. House of Lies. House of Cards. House of Cards. We also watched. We liked it. Uh, we watched Breaking Bad. We watched half of Game of Thrones. Yeah, somebody hook us up with season four. That's all we need. Just hook me up. Give me a fucking just Dropbox link us. and hook me up with the show. And no, I'm not going to get HBO Go. Fuck them. Okay. So we're going to be married for how many years? Um, we've been married for almost two so far. Yep. I'll give us another 72 years to be married. That's cute. Who's going to die first? I have to die first. We've decided. I'm going first and then Alex will go after me. And if I'm getting pretty close, then I'll have to kill you. Right. To make sure that you die first. Right. Then I'll die after. Right. So there, I hope you know everything about us now. <laughs> yeah, let us know if you have any questions.